Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are preparing for the PMP exam, you already know that it's a challenging journey, right? That requires dedication, focus and a smart study plan. Now often, whilst you are preparing for your PMP exam and you are developing the study plan for the same, it may happen that you end up committing some big mistakes, right? Of course, unknowingly, which can eventually hurt your exam performance or you can get some nasty surprises on your exam day. So in this video today, we are going to deep dive into five of such serious mistakes to avoid in your PMP exam study plan. Now, these are very common pitfalls that I have often experienced with my students, okay? And these mistakes land up often in the blind spot of PMP aspirants. So give this video a like, stick around, and I promise that these tips will help you to streamline your study plan, avoid these costly mistakes, and get you one step closer to earn that coveted PMP certification in your career. So mistake number one, not having a plan and preparing on the go with sort of an open-ended date for your final certification exam. Now I know this might seem a bit too obvious, right? But you'd be surprised how many PMP aspirants jump into this exam preparation mode with a mindset of uh, I'll study whenever I have time or let's start studying and let's see how it goes and we'll finalize an exam date later etc etc okay so without setting any ballpark or some rough milestones or deadlines students or aspirants often embark in the PMP examination journey now the problem with this approach is that it's easy to get off track okay without a structured plan you are more likely to skip study sessions, lose focus, or even miss out on any critical topics of the PMP exam. And when your exam date is uh, sort of open-ended, there is no real urgency to sit down and study consistently, right? I mean, you are not even answerable to yourself without any specific dates or milestones, right? So it's a very, very high probability that you may end up feeling overwhelmed by the amount of content or lose motivation quickly over time with this approach. So the question is, what should you do instead, right? Start by setting a specific target date for your exam, which is number one, realistic, and number two, stretched enough to take you a bit outside your comfort zone, okay? Let's say you aim for three to four months from now. Now, that is very realistic. Now, I mean, if it is not too specific to your situation, please don't set a timeline beyond six months, okay? As your final exam date. Because if you set some timeline, which is like six to eight months, there is a very high possibility that you will lose motivation by the end of fourth or fifth month, and then your entire preparation goes off track. So with these guidelines in mind mark a date which suits you on your calendar and then create a detailed study schedule tracing backwards okay that outlines what topics you will cover each of the weeks approaching to your exam break down the syllabus into smaller manageable sections and set yourself mini goals to track your progress now i have a detailed video on this topic and it would help you a lot if you watch that video as well in complement with this video next Mistake number two, starting with question and answers from day one without a solid foundational background. Now, don't get me wrong here, guys, okay? Practicing questions are essential to your exam preparation. However, solving questions right from day one of your exam preparation is like trying to build a house without laying down a strong foundation. So to explain this, Imagine this scenario, right? You start solving PMP questions and you get stuck on a scenario that you can't really make any sense because you don't fully understand the underlying concept. Without a clear grasp of the fundamentals, you might find yourself guessing more often than reasoning, okay? And this can give you a false sense of your actual progress. So to avoid that, here is the best strategy that I would recommend. Dedicate the initial phase of your study plan to understand the core topics covered in the PMP exam. Your focus should be on understanding the concepts like, let's say, scope 
management let's say risk management quality control procurement agile okay once you have a solid conceptual understanding only then you should move on to practice questions because at this stage when your foundation is strong these questions will be more of a reinforcement tool helping you to apply the knowledge you have gained rather than confusing you further okay if you are already a student of my 35 pdu pmp exam training course on udemy you know that i have end of module questions after every section which tests you on your understanding on that particular topic right now this is built by design within my course okay so you can check the details of this course from the description section of this video next mistake number 3 skipping the main or the primary standards of the pmp exam i'd like to be very direct here okay and pardon me for this the pmp ok7 the agile practice guide and the process group practice guide are not just reference materials for the pmp pmp exam okay they are the essential frameworks that the entire exam is based on and they are the bible for you as the pmp exam aspirant okay so you should never ever plan to skip these standards as part of your exam preparation now let's try to break this down a bit okay the pmp ok7 or the project management body of knowledge 7th edition is the gold standard in the project management industry okay it outlines all the best practices terminologies and guidelines that project managers like you around the world use day in and day out to drive excellent projects so please keep this in mind guys that the pmp ok the agile practice guide and the process group practice guide are your holy grails for referring to when you are preparing for your pmp exam please invest the time to study these standards thoroughly as they provide the foundation for most of the exam questions that you will encounter during the exam your ability to link the theory from these standards to real world project management scenarios will be very very crucial to achieve success in your pmp exam if you are liking the video guys please press the like button also please do subscribe to this channel your subscription helps me to understand that you value such educational content on youtube and motivates me to prepare more such videos like this for you okay now moving on to mistake number 4 not analyzing your incorrect responses whilst you are practicing questions and answers now for those who are fairly new in the pmp exam preparation journey simply attending practice questions isn't enough okay you need to dig deeper into your mistakes to understand where you went wrong and why okay because that is where your learning will come from so when you get a question wrong don't just note the correct answer and move on okay take the time to understand the logic behind the correct answer ask yourself questions like uh, why did i choose the wrong option what concept did i misunderstand how can i approach similar questions differently in future to be more efficient or more time productive etc etc so these are the questions you need to self reflect on when you are analyzing a mock simulator performance or you are analyzing some chapter end or module end question and answers this method of targeted review or error log based review is far far more effective than randomly answering more and more questions without understanding the reason for your errors okay think of it like a feedback loop in project management you gather data analyze it identify areas of improvement and then refine your strategy right so by incorporating this practice into your study plan you will be able to strengthen your weak points and walk into the exam on your exam day with much more confidence and finally mistake number 5 not planning the exam day logistics now it's funny right this is one of those mistakes that you only realize when it's sort of too late okay that means when you are already at the exam center and you really can't do anything about it imagine that you have studied for months you have mastered all the concepts but on the day of the exam you face a logistical nightmare that throws your entire game off track please please plan to avoid this okay let's break down the details firstly know the location of your test center well in advance if possible do a practice run a few days before the exam to check how long it will take for you to get there if you are relying on public transportation check the schedules and have a backup plan ready in case of any delays now i remember for one of my center based exams 
Now this was approximately five or six years back in India. I stayed in a hotel the night before the exam, even though I lived in the same city. And this was just because the hotel was at a five minute walking distance from the exam center. Anyways, that is an extreme case, but at least you get the drift, right? Make sure all your identification documents are ready. Plan to arrive at the test center at least an hour early. Best case would be at least hour and a half. Give yourself enough time to settle down, complete the check-in process and calm your nerves before the exam starts. You can pack a small bag with essentials like snacks, water and any materials you are allowed to bring for the breaks. But mind that you will not be able to take those within the examination station but they will be providing you some lockers to store away those materials and during the 10 minutes break during the exam you can come out of your examination kiosk and avail those materials from your locker so bottom line is being well prepared for the logistics of the exam day will help you as an aspirant to walk into the test center with a clear mind focused only on one thing and that is passing your pmp exam if you found this video helpful please hit that like button and share it with your fellow pmp aspirants and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips and strategies on your pmp exam preparation journey let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or if there are any other topics you would like me to cover on this channel until next time stay focused stay motivated and best of luck on your path to become a pmp certified project manager